Hello guys, thanks for joining me today. If this is your first time here, my name's TJ from TJ Tutorials and I cover everything from skin tightening devices, skin treatments and tutorials, genuine product reviews and the science behind how everything works. If this sounds like something you're interested in, start right now by hitting that subscribe button and ringing that notification bell so you get updated every time I upload a new video. So you guys asked and I am going to deliver. Today's video is all about the different devices that I use, where I use them and where I feel they've helped the most along with rating them from my most favorite to my least favorite. If you haven't seen my skin transformation video I'll throw the link down below. It shows what I look like in September last year to what I look like today. It even surprised me when I look back on it because you don't really realize what you look like at the time until you have something to look back on and compare yourself to. But yeah the transformation has been pretty crazy. So let's kick this video off with the very first machine that I started to review and that is this beauty right here. This is my home radio frequency skin tightening device and even today I am still in love with it. Is it my favorite? Well you'll find out at the end of the video but this device was what kick-started my home skin treatment journey. Radio frequency is amazing for tightening the skin so if you have mild to moderate laxity or fine lines and wrinkles that you want to address then radio frequency can be amazing. For me the first improvement I actually noticed was my upper eyelids. I had pretty severe drooping and hooding and within six months of using this device my eyes were open. Radio frequency is also fantastic for tightening the jawline, eliminating fat from under the neck and removing a double chin and for softening the nasobilabial folds. I also used it for helping to eliminate the lip lines that I had creeping in and for tightening my overall face. Now obviously I've done a video on this, radio frequency can cause facial fat loss so it's one of those devices that you don't want to go too hard with. So basically what this does is it heats the epidermis to between 40.7 degrees and 42 degrees Celsius which causes the collagen to contract providing an instant tightening effect then over the following two to three months the collagen starts to regenerate your skin plumps up it looks tighter it looks more youthful and overall it just looks better next up we have the latest addition to my routine which is the mini haifu home old therapy now this has blown me away with how well it works for lifting the brows like almost instantly and also also for helping get rid of the final remnants of my drooping eyelids. But more than just that, this has also helped to tighten my jawline and further lift under my neck. So the difference with HiFu and radio frequency is that this uses ultrasound, whereas radio frequency obviously uses radio frequency. And this penetrates to around about 4.5 millimeters deep into the skin. The functions that it has is very similar to radio frequency in that it causes the cells beneath the skin to heat up, it causes the collagen to contract, and it provides an an instant tightening and lifting effect. The thing with this is that as it heats the lower layers you can't really feel the heat but the heat is actually much more intense. I've been using this as I say for lifting the brows, opening the eyes, softening the forehead lines, softening my crow's feet, giving myself a slight lift on the cheek, tightening the jawline and dealing with under the chin. I also use it down the sides of my neck to help deal with those lines that are finally starting to sneak in. Next up is the most painful treatment that I do which is the plasma fibroblasting. This worked so well for dealing with the crepiness that I had going on under my eyes, for getting rid of my moderate and deep wrinkles, contouring the eye, lifting the outer brow, giving myself more shape and contour to my lip, and for contouring my nose, which now is slightly less bulbous. So basically this uses plasma, which is a form of energy, and as the plasma reaches a roughly a millimeter above the skin, it creates an arc that instantly vaporizes the tissue beneath it. Now obviously this reduces the actual volume of tissue that you have on your face which causes instant tightening which is why it's so good for lifting the lip lifting the brows and pulling out deeper wrinkles but it goes much further than that what plasma fibroblasting also does is it excites fibroblasts now fibroblasts naturally occur in our skin and what they do when excited is that they secrete type 3 collagen which is a pre-collagen and then over the following 8 to 12 weeks what happens is that that pre-collagen type 3 collagen is then replaced by type 1 collagen which is the most abundant type of collagen we have in our skin and it helps to keep the skin elastic, supple and plump. Plasma fibroblasting really helped deal 
with the facial drop that I was experiencing and just provided a crazy tightness all over. However, it's important to remember that while with radio frequency and HIFU there is zero downtime, with this one you can expect between 7 to 10 days downtime whilst your face is healing. Now we move on to one of my favourite treatments which is microneedling. Now I use the derma pen. I don't use a derma roller. I love with the derma pen that the needles create a clean wound as it penetrates in and out the skin. You're also not limited to one size with this. You buy sterile cartridges, they're disposable so when you're finished you throw it in your sharps bin. You have a small dial here that allows you to choose the needle depth which ranges from 0.01 millimeters all the way up to 2.5 millimeters. Now when I first started using this I did use it on its own and I do feel that it helped to soften my lines and wrinkles but also to deal with the small acne scars that I had. However the biggest differences that I received from this was when I started to combine it with radio frequency where I would treat my skin with this first and immediately go over the top with the radio frequency. Microneedling also helps firm facial skin by inducing collagen production. I also like to combine EGF growth factor serum whenever I microneedle as it helps to contribute to thicker skin, improve cellular turnover and just gives your skin a fantastic glow. However one thing to be aware of when it comes to microneedling is that too much of a good thing can be bad for you and whilst using a microneedle on 0.25 millimeters or lower every day isn't going to cause any issues using a needle length of 0.5 millimeters upwards more than once a week can actually leave your skin looking very waxy it just doesn't look great and it just leaves you looking overdone and obviously you want to give your body a chance to rebuild that collagen if you're breaking it down before it has a chance to regenerate then really you're just wasting your time now not really a machine but something that I feel really transformed and gave me the finishing touches to my skin is TCA now I purchase a hundred percent pure TCA and I mix and dilute it myself. I do this for two reasons. One, because 100% TCA when mixed actually goes a lot further than buying a pre-mixed one, but also I'm not exactly the most trusting person when it comes to buying things off of the internet. And I wouldn't feel comfortable applying something that says it's 30% TCA when maybe I don't know whether it's actually 30% or if it's 50% or 70%. So I always dilute my own. That way I know that what I'm applying to my skin is what it says. TCA is considered considered as a medium peel and it removes the uppermost layers of skin which in turn forces your body to regenerate fresh skin. This helps pretty much wipe out blemishes, melasma, freckles, it can help soften scars, it definitely dealt with the under eye wrinkles that were hanging on with me like it completely wiped them out. It also softened my crow's feet, my forehead lines and just gave my skin a really even blemish free complexion which I'm in love with. The final skin tightening machine that I use as part of my routine today that I actually really quite enjoy using now is my EMS machine. Now this isn't microcurrent when used on the lowest level it does produce a microcurrent which obviously stimulates ATP but to be honest I'm not too concerned about ATP in my skin. What I am after is to strengthen and develop the muscles that are in my jawline, under my chin and occasionally above the brow because as we age our muscles begin to atrophy which basically means that they shrink and lose strength. The smaller and weaker they are the more likely things are to start heading south. Now this is designed for use along the chin and jawline but I do use it like I say above the outer corner of the brows to lift them. I'll occasionally use it on my cheek just to provide a little bit more volume. So those are the at home skin tightening tools and products that I use. I now use my radio frequency once every eight weeks. I use the mini HIFU once every six weeks. I do microneedling once every four weeks. The plasma fibre blasting I do three times a year and the EMS and microcurrent I do roughly once every two to three weeks and obviously with the TCA peel I will do that as and when I feel my skin needs it but I won't do it more than twice a year. So now it's time for me to start ranking these machines in order of effectiveness. So the best skin tightening machine that I find to be most effective for dealing with the majority of the aging issues that I was facing is this the plasma fibre blasting pen. Now I do combine this with microneedling for a double effect which I've coined the term fibre needling but this is the one that I feel has made the biggest difference to my skin as part of my skin transformation journey. Now I know some of you are expecting radio frequency to come next because I love it so much but actually radio frequency is kind of dropped slightly. It's quite recent the addition but the impact it's had has been huge is my mini Haifu home old therapy skin tightening machine. The way that this lifted my brows in less than 20 minutes each side is just it, it blew me away and my brows have stayed in position they haven't dropped. The skin was tight and it kind of felt like it was furrowed slightly for the first
first couple of days but after that it starts loosening but the brows have stayed in position I also love how much it's tightened along my jawline and the impact that it's had under my chin crazy now we have radio frequency this was the one that as I say I started my journey with and I still use this religiously I love the fact that this taught me so much about my skin but also the changes that it provided with the initial eyelid tightening and the firming of the skin I also find this super relaxing to use apart from the zaps that you get from it occasionally but yeah when it comes to my skin the way that it is tightened and also with the collagen production this played a massive role in it my fourth favorite is the TCA peel once my skin peeled off the way that under my eyes looked the crepiness had gone the forehead lines had softened the freckles and sun damage that I had vanished it just left me kind of speechless now this does have downtime obviously it took me two weeks before my skin started looking much more normal again I still have a little bit of redness persisting from that and this was done like over four weeks ago but when it comes to big changes of my skin's texture eliminating the fine lines and wrinkles and just making my skin feel super tight this is number four now this one I feel a little bit guilty putting it below the TCA because it really has made a huge difference to the texture of my skin it's helped boost collagen my skin feels thicker especially around under the eyes and combined with some of my other treatments such as radio frequency it has given me huge result and that's my microneedling pen now used on its own it's definitely produced fewer results than the other machines that I've already rated however when combined with radio frequency it would probably shift up into position three I actually really love using this for improving product absorption using it on a 0.25 millimeters a couple of times a week but when it comes to softening the wrinkles on my foreheads dealing with my crow's feet and the small lines this one has been awesome I also feel that it's played a role in eliminating my small lip lines that I was developing I am now line free around my lips and it probably wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for this which leaves us with the last product and obviously I love all of these like they've all worked together to help my skin transform to what it has today but that would be my EMS microcurrent machine now I know people always go on about ATP I actually tried proper microcurrent for a few months and I really noticed no difference microcurrent might be great for you and you might see amazing results from it my skin personally doesn't seem to respond to it but what it does respond to is the lifting effect that this gives it's also given me slightly more of a masculine jaw like I said earlier it's helped to add a little bit more volume to my cheeks by building the muscles in them and originally I was using it for lifting the outer brows I no longer need to use it for that because the high food just does it so well but it's played a huge role in combination with all of my other tools and I, I wouldn't do away with it now like it's my little buddy so guys that is it for the tools that I use Use at the moment I do have high frequency on the way I'm moving into PRP microneedling as well and there's gonna be a few surprise additions over the coming months so do you use any of these tools and how do you feel that they've had an impact on your skin and if you had these six tools what order would you put them in let me know in the comments down below I love hearing from you guys and I do try to get back to you when I can if you found this video useful make sure you give it a like and of course if you haven't done so already hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you get updated every time I upload a new video thank you so much for joining me today and sticking around if you're taking part in the mini high food giveaway that is running until October the 1st check the description box below for a clue there's gonna be a few of these over my coming videos to help narrow things down for you guys but yeah have a fantastic day today and that's pretty much it so until next time TJ over and out